for the match. Lisa Dorante can make it final. Following the recently concluded Philippines Football League, we welcome you to the second edition of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. I am your host, Claro Manzano, and I can't wait to bring you everything that happened in a nail-biting match day one and two. Before we proceed to our main event, we'll bring you first the competition format. The Copa Paulino Alcantara 2019, now in its second year, will have seven participating teams one group with four teams and the other with three. Each team will play against each other once, with the top two teams from each group qualifying the crossover semi-final round. The winners of the semi-final round will meet in the final. The groupings are as follows. Group A again, you have Ceres Negros seeded as PFL champions, and they are joined by Green Archers United FC, Menjola FC 1991, and last but not the least, the Philippines U22 national team. For Group B, on the other hand, we have Kaya Iloilo, second place in the Philippines Football League and the defending cup champions. They are joined by Stallion Laguna and Philippine Air Force Football Club. Without further ado, let's proceed to what transpired in match day 1 and 2 of the Copa. Let's take a look first at the opening match between Kaya FC Iloilo and Philippine Air Force FC. Here's Jamer De La Cruz with the commentary. And we're off officially kicking off the things here. The boy is pitched for the Cova Paulino Alcantara. Replaced by number 21, Kinshira Daniels. Here's the attack now. Panhai on the attack with the shot. That is into the back of the net. Jason Panhai scoring the first goal for Kaya FC Iloilo. In Longer still with the ball, passing it to Daniels. Daniels on the free, takes a shot. He gets his goal here. Great run from Daniels there, scoring on the 33rd no, minute. Okay. It'll be another corner here for Panhai and Kaya, FC Iloilo. Header there, great goal from Dakani. They score three. You thought that's going into the middle. They got it just in time for Dakani. League stop score with a strike, saved by Mendome. Another strike, another save from Mendome, and now he holds on to the ball. Still with the ball. Into the middle, Bulakina with the interception. And it's in. It's into the back of the net. Fourth goal. A long call. Cleared away. Angeles with a strike into the back of the net for the fifth goal for Kaya FC Iluido. Again, the finish was not there. And that is it here at the Avoid this pitch for the first game of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. The title holders, Kaya FC Iluido, winning five goals to nil over Philippine Air Force FC. Nagawa namin yung tactics namin, kaso yung problema namin, na stop namin si Jordan. Pero yung problema namin is yung other players na hindi talaga. Yung level nila hindi kaya pantayan yung level ng players ng kaya. So, it's a great way to to start the Copa Paulino. Clean sheet. Uh, we could have been more goals. I thought it was important to, to bounce back from the, the last result that we got. And I think uh, it's obviously it's important to start the cup with a, with a win. And it was pretty convincing as well. Um, I think we did well to... Um, to score as many as we did in the first half. To continue, we have the second match, which pitted defending league champion Ceres Negros up against Menjola FC 1991. Here's Kevin Estrada with a commentary. While Ceres Negros limped out on the inaugural edition, having been dispatched by Mr. Takashi Odawara, looks like he moved up to the Left, right wing spot, here's Marasigan, and there's a tap in there for Robert Lopez Mendy. Picking up where he left off. De La Torre has been picked off, and here's Lopez Mendy off to the races. It's gonna be a hit and run here, 2 0. Easy as possible. 
Nimrod. One minute of added time in the first half, and look at Nimrod Balabat charging through. Amaraj and ready, and Menjola had pulled one back. And that was a heads up play there by Nimrod Balabat. Here we go. Now it's. Oh, look, that, there's a foot race there. There's Papu Kosame. Oh, it's still two. Root one, fashion. And Soleiman and Dafe Sel. Correction, that's Dini Watana. Celebration there. Well, oh, look at that one. Oh, it goes over the bar and out for Dylan the Broker. Wasted chance there by Dylan the Broker. Billion Weber. Ball forward one. Watana got away with that. And that's it. Mendiola will join Stallion Laguna. We were surprised about the starters and we 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 never we never expected that, that they will be playing that those those players. I mean I think that's that's the problem in the first half, but in the second that we, we come up we come up with a idea uh, to somehow stop sense. Uh, para sa akin kasi po si uh, sinunod ko lang yung kung ano yung instruction na binibigay ni Coach Nee Boy para para ano para sa Ceres. Kasi training talaga namin siya. Para pinag-aaral namin kung ano yung gagawin natin sa Ceres para i-block na sila. To complete our match day one and two recap, we have the third and final match of the weekend between Green Archers United FC and the Philippines U22 national team. And we are underway right now and away we go at the Aboitis pitch. The outlets at Lepa, Embang having to get another stop. Philippines not giving up on this play right now and Bugas comes setting this and cut back Ozoka and oh that was just inches wide again Team Ozoka Ascals and here comes the delivery and the header and that is a goal for the Philippines and it's 1-0 in the 50th minute oh, Number five, Jima Ozoka! Archers on the right, and here comes the ball. Another stop here. Anthony Penzos with the stop there on the... Pinto's telling the referee he's good to go. He may get a card if he pops time delay to waste time. And that is the full time whistle. The Philippines U22 national team picking up a 1-0 victory over the Archers. Behind that header of Chima Ozoka. The score, the is a very important uh, match for us. We preparation uh, that team for uh, C games and uh, uh, we you know, many times to prepare everything. And uh, today, exactly the result of the, our work. I'm trying to the Philippines U22 team will face an uphill task against Ceres Negros FC in the Binyan Football Stadium at 4 p.m. Meanwhile, in the Aboitis pitch at the outlets at Lipa, Menjola FC and Green Archers United of Group A will face off at 4 p.m. Group B action will resume afterwards at 7 p.m. in the same venue, pitting Philippine Air Force versus Stallion Laguna. All three matches will be live on pfltv.ph and on Facebook live stream in the Philippines. There you have it, match day one and two, done and dusted, but there is definitely more to come in the 2019 Copa Paulino Alcantara. Thank you for watching, this is Claro Manzano, your host. Have a pleasant day and we remind you to keep the legacy. Opportunity here, and we've got our first goal of the match.